Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally going to get all the plastic out of the car. We're basically going to do our own dealer prep with Chase and Kieran from Attention to Detail PA. Waiting for a long time to do this. I've been driving around with this car with all these stickers and all this plastic on the car. It's all coming off today. Chase is going to go over the car, find out see if there's any issues. He's going to we'll probably address them. And eventually we're probably gonna ceramic coat this car. I don't know if I'm gonna do expel on the front. I probably should, but in all due time. Before we do all that, let's do a cold start. Love doing cold starts with this car. Now that's how you start your day, guys. That's how you do it. <laughs> Boy, we're gonna have some fun with this. Dropped off some merch at the post office to ship out. John, you're getting your package. Thank you for your support and always watching all the videos. You're the first one to comment. You just never know. I just could pick a random person that comments and they're gonna get some free merch or some, some goodies from us just for supporting the channel. I really appreciate all you guys. Um, <laughs> just to show you guys, I haven't touched anything in this car. We still have the sticker on the rear view mirror. The dashboard is disgusting. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it. I left it all for you, Chase, so you can go over it. But check out the stitching. Stitching's really nice. Yep. So yeah, she she's a dirty. She's dirty. Still like she just came off the truck. Cause well, like I told you in the previous video when we revealed Gaston, she literally came. He, not she. He. He literally came right off the truck while I was at the dealership, and I was like, "That's mine. I'm taking it." <laughs> so. This is what they look like. I mean, I'm sure there's more plastic. I think that the little uh, guy, because they did have to run through the shop for the inspection and emissions, what have you, um, and put it in inventory, even though it never actually made it to inventory, because if you look up that stock number, it doesn't exist. It actually comes back to a Jeep. But yeah, it um, they took some of the plastic off, but it looks good. But yeah, I left it exactly. Look, you can still see from the key tags when they're putting it in inventory, everything's still down there. Uh, floor mats are in the trunk, you know, it's pretty much just like it would come off the truck guys All right, well, let's head over to the JP shop because that's where Chase is right now He's detailing quiche truck that mohemoth of a beast of a Duramax. All right, we're out at the JP shop We're out with Chase and Kieran Attention to detail PA uh, You know how hard it was for me to keep from washing this car and pulling all the plastic off But I saved it for you guys. I really did. It was tough. I like it. She's pretty. <laughs> She's definitely like pretty. Thing a lot. Sounds beautiful. I mean, I still have the foam protectors on the Brembo brakes. All right, Chase. So legit, this this car came off the car carrier. Yep. Went to inside the shop to get inspected, and do the emissions, do the safety check on it. Told them not to wash it, so it has Smart. not been washed. Smart. Um, so basically, this came from the manufacturer through transportation. To the dealership i don't know if this hit the rail railroad or it probably did i would imagine because i think they yeah. do come in in the philly through the railroad yeah and then they get put on car carriers and delivered to the dealership so has not been touched so i think what we're going to do is we're going to wash it I'll and uh over it. we'll see what we can find in the paint and uh try to see if we can guess where it happened from the transportation from the manufacturer and just kind of see what because all, people ask me all the time do do new cars need detail and they had, Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, they do. Yep. And and this, this isn't knocking Jeff D'Ambrosio no. Auto Group at they all. Didn't even wash it. No, they didn't. They didn't wash it. This literally just came from the car carrier to me. I mean, Phil, I had three miles on it when I got it. If you guys are in the market for any type of Mopar vehicles, actually, they, they sell all brands. So whatever you guys want, hit up. Jeff D'Ambrosio Auto Group of Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Ask for Joe D'Ambrosio and tell him that Rambis Project sent you. Make sure you tell him that. Send me a message, I'll screenshot and I'll send it to him. Like, make sure you take care of my subscribers. But here we go. Gonna get her done. I'm to give it, film it up. It's in, it's in the door, yeah. It's got one of those capless um, door, door. Oh, uh, the door? Yep, on the door. It's one of those capless joints. Oh yeah, it's already a little dirty in there too.
we do on regular cars, we go to the claim process, which makes the paint smooth, but since it's a new car, it doesn't really need it. So what we're doing now is we're just putting the uh, sealant on it. I'll show what you guys what we use today. It's uh, Car Pro Reload, very, very popular product. It's a uh, silica spray sealant. So silica is one of the main ingredients found in ceramic coating, so you're gonna get a lot of the same water behavior as you get from a ceramic coating in this product right here. It's also gonna last about, I'd say about five or six months. So you get a good amount of protection out of it. And I'm sure we'll see before that as well. So we'll put top of the layer. But first put on a little applicator pad, do a little cross hatching patterns, and then buff it off with a soft towel. And then uh, we'll even do like a little water sheeting thing for you. So you can see that as well. I am a fan of this triple nickel. I, I was, oh, yeah. you know, the reason why we, we, we're stepping outside of the box. This, this isn't a truck, guys. This is Gaston. And uh, he is triple nickel. He is like a silver but it's not like your normal silver. I can't explain it. I don't show my video. I, I don't know if the video is going to do it justice, Chase, but I am loving this color. I'm loving this color. And so far since washing it, Chase hasn't been able to find anything too crazy in the paint. No, nothing, no swirls or anything. So no, and it's really not, hard. This color will hide swirls very well too. I, it's one of the reasons why I went this route. <laughs> <laughs> Having black trucks, man, it's been a, it's been a nightmare, but <laughs> this is, this looks good. We're gonna have to get this ceramic coated. Oh yeah. And maybe some expel on the front bumper. I was saying that earlier. We're Just, looking about getting into that as well. Are you? Yeah. Okay. They say these chargers are the hardest cars to expel the front bumpers. Really? Yeah. That's oh, what I can see that actually. Yeah. Here, come check this out. Feel this? I feel that. So this is bare paint, no wax, no nothing on there. Okay. Right? Feel that? Never put my hand on that. Wow. Wow. Feel the difference on that? And that's just a spray on. Yep. That's crazy. Like I said, it's not cheap, but it works well. Yeah, you definitely can feel a difference just by spraying that on. Using that little applicator to put it on. Well, it, normally what a lot of people do is actually a nice little tip is even what the direction, the direction say is to spray it on the surface and then buff it off or spread it out. You buff it off, use two towels. You get a little applicator block, put a couple sprays on there. You get more control, you should not get a bunch of overspray and you use a lot less product. I was going to say you're saving, you're saving that way too yep. as well. All right, Chase found something. Oh, you yeah. that in there? Yeah, it looks like sticky. It's probably, it could be yeah. from the, prote the protective wrap that they had I see on it. scratches, that's a thing. Right there? Yep. No, get out of here. Yeah. Nope, no, it's definitely sticky. Sticky, sticky glue. Let's see what happens when we start taking all this extra stuff off and get our little uh, chemical out here to do all that. We'll see what happens. Something else right here too. Stop it. More sticky maybe? Oh, that's a scratch. That's a scratch? Oh yeah. See that one? Yeah. There is a little scratch there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, there is uh there is. I don't know if you guys can see it in this camera, but yeah. That could be, you know what? That could have been from the car carrier, the chains maybe. I don't know. But it goes all the way down the door. Does it go into this door here or is it just that one? Looks like it's just the driver's side. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on the... I mean, the driver's side. The front door. I don't see anything on the, the back door. So, Chase asked to see my phone because I was talking to my wife. And the first thing he <laughs> asked her, how do you I'm, feel I'm, about Steve crashing okay, in Okay, in my defense, though, you snitched on me first. For what? You called the, um, Keith. About what? And said I told him his truck was dirty. Oh, true. So you snitched first, so Two, you know what? True, true. Or even now. But I live with her. It's the, 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 that's different. Found something else too. This is, this is nothing. This isn't too big. Uh, you see that right there? Oh, that's in the paint. Yeah. So that's not even a scratch. It's just from a piece of dust flying on the paint before they put the uh, is it gonna paint on there. Get to uh, right there. Again, guys, we're not knocking on the dealership at all. This, this, well, that was from the manufacturer. Yeah, but then there's another one just right there. Oh yeah. And it, that's so typical to see. You even see that on higher end cars. Okay. There's, yeah, that was done at the manufacturer. But again, we're not knocking on D'Ambrosio's at all. This all happened during transportation, minus those two things. That happened when they were painting the car. Yeah, Chase is going to show you how the water is going to react to that. Car Pro Reload. There you go. Car Pro Reload. Get it beaten up. See the similar properties to the ceramic. 
Very cool. So this is what you guys need to do. You need to buy your cart, Jeff D. Ambrosio and a group, and then don't even have them wash it. It's not, it's not a knock against dealership detailers, but they can't, they can't take the time to do what Chase does. So they're dealing with a high volume of cars. They're basically washing it, removing the plastic, and doing the windows, and pushing that car out. Attention to detail, like their name says, they, they, they pay close attention to everything, and Sir. they'll address it for you. So buy your brand new car from Jeff D'Ambrosio Auto Group of Downingtown. And yes, and then, a new car does need to be detailed. Definitely, definitely does. I get that question more than you than ever know. Yep. Yeah, a lot of times back in the day when I used to work at a dealership when I was in high school, a lot of the cars would have that railroad dust embedded into the top surfaces of the car. Um, now they've gotten better with that. They, they protect it. They put a wrap on the top surfaces and some of the sides, anywhere where dust can lay. But this car has absolutely no railroad dust on it at all. Chase, he has a website now. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. He's also in all my... Uh, social media posts on Instagram and all my videos and he's on my website as well so if you guys need to get a hold of him his information is always in all the video descriptions and our website so you can hit him up and book yourself an appointment right Chase yep <laughs> we're getting pretty busy with the warmer weather coming up so if you guys want to get on the schedule the sooner you guys can call me and reach out to me the better you're off you're gonna be yeah I was having difficulties trying to get him to do this I mean I had this car for a while but I wasn't gonna touch it I wanted to wash it. I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to pull all the plastic off and do it all myself. But I said, I gotta wait for Chase. I promised him. So. I'm glad you did. And it's, hey, look at the paint. That's yeah, incredible. This paint, this color. I mean, Mopar. I have a Mopar's got the best in paint. They do. They really do. They have some incredible colors. BMW's out there too. They got some colors. Comment below, guys. Get rid of the yellow protectors. It matches that, the yellow in there. I don't know, dude. I might delete this too. Yeah. Oh, no. Com comment below guys comment below if we should delete all the badging on this car comment below let us know no i like i like less but i do like the scat pack Where maybe you gotta, you gotta show that off i don't know man i, I don't know let us know should we get like a ram beast decal right there no we're not gonna do it i i less is more for me i like clean you won't see all kinds of covers and different things on this engine it's it's going to be built for a purpose. It's not going to be. It's going to have. It's going to look good. It's going to have a nice show, but it's not going to be all show. It's going to be go. We're going to be doing a lot of fun things with this car, Chase. But yeah, let us know if we should delete the badging on this car. Sort of on the fence with that. We just pulled this out of the back seat. Sorry guys, sold. Gaston is officially part of the family. And then we found. This stuff probably from the manufacturer, the manufacturing plant. Pretty neat. I'm gonna hold on to it. Put it in a folder for this car. Right there, right there. Uh, so Chase is hitting the door scratch that we found. What are you using there, Chase? It's a little bit of rubbing polish. Okay, it's coming right off. Yep. All right. How about that? Cool. There we go. Very good. I get one more on the back. That hit. Karen took care of some of the scratches on the wheels. All these, a couple scratches. Up yeah, there's in there. some on the other side too. That feels more like that might be like sticky Hello. stuff. Yeah. Let's try to get them off. Yeah, right off. Yeah, right off. Oh, oh, no, oops. I have to might have to work a little harder on that one. It's more notable on this side. See guys, this is why it's important to take your car to a detailer after you buy it. Make sure you get it all. Don't say it's in the paint. Don't say it's in the paint. That little spot right there. Yeah, because it's a treasure when you do I think that's in the paint. Chase, it's not in the paint. Oh, Come on. It's a 50-50. I can tell you it's not in the paint. Will that make you feel better? Okay. I can tell you that. Yeah. It's not in the paint. Yeah. Oh, uh, is that satisfying or what? Try to get Pro off. Probably not as satisfying as the, one, the plastic on the floor. Board. There you go. One piece. You can keep right. that. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. That's you right. sure? Yeah. We get this. Okay. Seats are comfy. That guy's just filthy. Coming right off. Yep. What are you using on that, Chase? Some good old all purpose cleaner for the inside. Okay. Specifically for the inside. Yeah, you can use it for the outside too, but. Well, like all purpose cleaner is usually pretty harsh on. Well, we dilute it. Oh, you dilute, we dilute it? Dilute for oh, interiors. Yep. Okay. Oh, man. What a huge difference, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, check that out. Yeah, that was kind of that was sort of driving me crazy. Oh, I'd imagine. Yeah. That was a good pun though too. If you think about it, driving you crazy. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. I like the steering wheel too. Yeah, it feels that good. That feels really nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It feels really good. Yeah, I can see myself driving this thing. Well, keep blowing up, man. What do you say? I give you ten free details for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait any longer, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna it. do the honor. I'm gonna rip this one off. I'll let you guys do the rest of them. Oh, I feel so good. Doesn't it? It's like taking, uh, getting a new phone. You peel the thing off of it. Yup. Uh huh. Now I gotta get a protector, like I did for the Weiss Ram. Definitely gonna protect it. You can buy ceramic that too. If you think about it. Probably. But I probably get the screen protector. Yeah. Bring it back to the detailing days, back when you yeah, man. detail. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Way, 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 way. A long time ago. Oh, you got to put a little scum power into that. Come on now. <laughs> I'm rolling it over top of itself. Man, it's it is it's, it's really, really dirty. It's really on there. Yeah. Look, I got the camera. Yep. Oh, yeah, for a change. Chase is taking over the vlog. How'd I do, Chase? Did I do all right? Let's see. <laughs> He'll find something. It looks awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll find something, guys. Did you pull that off without catching it on camera? I did. I told you I was going to do it. You weren't listening, were you? That's a shame. The viewers are going to be upset. They yeah. want to see that. Hold on. Yep, Karen got you. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just going to rip it off like a band-aid. It's like the hairs off my arm. That's hilarious. You little square like a... <laughs> Jeez. Just pulled this out of the car, guys. Caution. Low speed required when unloading and unloading your vehicle for transportation. SRT. Uh, doesn't that sound so good? I'll throw it out. Oh. On a scale of one to ten, how satisfying is this? It's pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. See, don't let the dealerships do this, guys. Do it yourself. Or have your detailers do it so they can get some satisfaction. Plus, de uh, dealerships, they're gonna end up leaving like wrapper around yeah, there and all it, It's quick. It's about volume. Yeah. It's not attention to detail. Yeah. Beautifully done. Wait a second, wait a second. Did you just tell them to wipe the dash down again? Nope. Did you just tell them <laughs> on your side, too? You know, Chase, this is actually like making this car officially officially. That's true. Or should I say the channels? It's officially officially the channels, so it's mine, but it's all of ours, because we're all going to enjoy this car, Bell, and Beast together. That means I can drive it right. <laughs> no. I like the red outline on those, too. Hetty officially has floor mats. She was complaining about that. You know, you know the one thing this is missing? What's that? Clutch pedal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Automatic spanster. Automatic twin races. Yep. Manuals are just fun. There's not much room back here, guys. No, there's not. There we go. I do like that red outline. It's, it's nice. Cool. Last one. All right, it's official, official. It's official, official. It's Don is a part of the family now. So if someone bought their brand new car at Jeff G. Ambrosio Auto Group and they wanted to get this done, any dealership, I'm just throwing them out because they're a supporter of the channel. It's where I get all my vehicles. What, how much would something like this cost? Because you're usually dealing with a lot more dirtier vehicles like Keys. Yes. <laughs> Basically what our golden package is, except instead of using that spray sealant, we use the uh, spray wax, okay. right? And that package is 55 for cars, sedan, 65 for trucks and SUVs. Cool. All right. There you go, guys. Make sure you hit Chase up. The truck was filthy. We I spent know. like Listen, five hours. Yeah, <laughs> get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't let them use the bathroom. I had to show them where the bathrooms were. They were holding, they were like this when I got here. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs>
See you guys. I'm out. Yep. Thanks for taking care of Gaston. And Kieran, out. I'm out, buddy. It's always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Always yes, a pleasure. Let me see what's in your seat. Oh, nasty. Keith, thank you for letting us He's use the shop out today. His thermos of coffee. Oh yeah, look look how dirty Keith's truck is. That is that your seat? That's just, that's your seat. You know, it was like It's just the bottom part of the seat. It wasn't me. God, you have a dirty oh, butt. Nasty. The truck should smell a lot better now. I don't know. He's probably gonna have to he's gonna be here until midnight cleaning that. <laughs> So now it's official, official, official. We have our YouTube tag on there. Stop down and visit my friend Rick who does all my decals. This is the same quality that he uses on their police vehicles that he does. So all your decals that you get from Ram Beast Projects, same guy that's putting the striping on all the police cars is making them. Check that out, that is cool. <laughs> I was a little concerned about not doing die cut, but I think this is actually better because we're going to be doing something to this window in the near future and you're not even going to notice that and this is again like i said high quality vinyl well guys i didn't want Belle to feel left out so i came home and i gave her a bath and yes i wiped down the door jams chase i always do i always do see nice and clean even clay barred this side looks like i still missed a few things but uh, she looks good and I put Hetty's decal on the window. What do you think, guys? I think my boy, Dave McCoy, who designed this logo, killed it. He did an outstanding job. I'm gonna tag him. Well, actually, I'll put his Instagram tag right here. If you guys ever need any artwork done, hit him up. He does outstanding work. He's definitely underrated. Guy kills it every time. Don't know if I'm gonna stick with the solid decal for this we're gonna give her a shot we'll see how this holds up i'm curious to see how it fades or if it shrinks so if it starts shrinking before the end of the summer we're gonna go with die cut which i think die cut might actually pop a little bit better but yep we'll see how it handles it through the summer because there's a lot of black void right there but you really can't tell because the window is dark do you think Hetty's gonna be happy i don't know stars here yep don't mind this don't mind any of this i mean i, I did clean it <laughs> oh my gosh it even stands out even more now sorry i should i shouldn't have washed the tailgate i should have just left the tailgate and the bumper dirty what uh what i didn't realize you scuffed it there yeah i mean we did a number well i thought that she had a black jeep it is black. That's just the paint chipping off or being scratched. Sorry. Hey, Belle lived up to her name. She rammed it. <laughs> she needs her Brazilian butt look now. What do you think? Do you like your uh, YouTube tag? <laughs> I do like it. I was telling him how Dave killed it. I was driving Dave crazy to get this done because we got a lot of shows coming up and I wanted to have the tags on the trucks. And Gaston. Am I rusted out already? Yeah, because the paint chipped off. So, you know, you're going to get a new bumper. Don't worry about it. Let's not stand to the rear end of Bell. You know what? I think I've, I've just made a decision. What? I'm Gaston in me until my truck's fixed. No. Yeah. No. We're keeping the miles off of Gaston. And look, I just got it cleaned up for you. You shouldn't have backed into another car. And hey, you, you know, accidents happen. Nobody's perfect. I know. And I'm going to be perfect in the... Uh, no, because we got to... Um, you know, just in case you back into something else. Because there's an issue with this truck that we're going to resolve with Headlight Revolution. But, babe, if, if we go back a couple videos, you said that we need to start enjoying our vehicles. Yeah, you I need it. No, you, it. see, this has even got the pink logo for you. Bell is all yours. Well, <laughs> I better end this video before I get in trouble. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Can you stop looking? I'm so sorry. It didn't look as bad when it was dirty. <laughs> that, is that why you didn't want me to wash it? No, now, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's time to end the video. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by the first time, make sure you tap, smash, do something to that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell. Ding, ding. 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 <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you in the next upload.